There. This is Julia. Wave Julia. Julie is one of our remedial massage therapists at the Body Spot and she is also trained in clinical Pilates and physiotherapy. So today she's actually just going to do a little bit of work and show you some exercises for anybody that's having problems with their lower back and hip. Hi guys, uh, my name is Julia and today we are going to work with the main um, muscle that are coming to your hip. So for all kind of problem to the hip, like the hip replacement or heliopsops tight or all kind of explexor that is also very annoying you. Um, with this exercise, we're going to really grow on this muscle around the acetabul and we're going really to improve our tightness in our glutes. So, um, so strength, she means there. So she's going to work the muscle and improve the strength. Okay, very easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> the English is my second language. Okay, so just we're going lateral and we're going to lay down. Uh, here, the main important thing is really keep the belly in and to try to really go to 90 degree. Very simple, the movement. And just high knee and I exhale when I come up. The only important thing here is put the belly in and really keep the shoulder open. My knee is going straight, <clears throat> very opposite to the other knee. I can do that maybe 10 times if you are at the beginning, 20 if you are maybe in the second week that are you trying to. When you come into this 10, we can stay just up for 10 little up and down. So eight, seven, six, three, two, one. When we are here, we lock down the belly and we really stretch the back and sorry the leg. I exhale. I put my belly in and I really keep my hip completely mobilized. Lucky you got clean socks on. Good. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> I said lucky your socks are clean. Well, they're not really. Yeah. <laughs> Bare foot always. <laughs> I actually has the socks. Okay. So I nail here. I exhale, and I really, really feel the stretch. It's working all my glutes in this uh, position. When I finish ten of these strength and stretch with the leg in this position, I just point the toe down and I just do 10 little up and down here, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I stop here half my leg and I just roll, point the toe over there and then just come out and flex the toe for one, on the top shoe. I really feel the stretch when I'm going down. I really try to feel myself longer. So all these muscles that are coming to the hip now are really warm up. Also here the repetition can be 10, just at the beginning. I always try to stay with my leg in the same line. I never go zigzag. Always I keep the position with my belly in with my neck strength, I can use the hand to really remember how much I have to be not really attacked with the uh, my lateral uh, abdominus. abdominus. And when I'm here, I just stay down with my leg a bit and I think maybe five circles in one direction. So we're doing first five big circles, three two and one and then I try to do five little circles so we're doing four really little how much time you can do the circles it's really more about a minimum movement that can really warm up and also put a bit of strength in the acetabuls and then we go in the other side again five big always here all my bellies really keep the position of my hip where they are 
and then I'm doing again five little, little micro circles, three, two, one, then we can really just put down our leg and doing maybe just the last one in which I really open and close my hip. I open up and I close it. It's very difficult for some parents, for some people. So we really need to close the belly to bring up and go down. Up. Also here, as you feel, but you should do minimum 10, just really to warm up because we are using another um, uh, muscle here. So we try to do 10 in each one. You can't imagine how many positions there are to really warm up and help uh, your hip replacement or um, your lower back pain because this is a very, very good exercise also for that. When you finish this 10, you just stretch, close and close again. Open stretch, close, and close again. So we have an opening, keep the belly in, really stretch the leg, coming down, and then close again. Another couple here, we try to do minimum six if you can. It's very challenging here, especially in the position, the back of your bum. Okay, the last one, really remember here to stretch, down and I control everything in my position and now you just have to repeat everything in the other side so I hope that you enjoy try to do that maybe every day because it's very quick and see how you feel and how you see also your hip and your um, posture to change okay thank you very much Julia um, I promise we're all going to try that 